Station Road in the uh, Northern Purcells, right at the tip of the Northern Purcells. Snowmobile skiing, or we're thinking we were going to. And uh, we just remote triggered a monster. A monster. Just trying to stand on the. Put my arm. Shots, you can see this thing is like almost two meters, meter and a half deep. In some places went all the way there. And I don't know if you can see way down there on the lower slope, but it's cracked super thick, super deep there. We're pretty sure that we just did this. Because we didn't spot it when we were out down below. We didn't mother nature. Mother nature. We're feeling pretty grateful that we didn't find out the hard way about this slope. This is an east facing slope about I'll check my watch, but I think we're about 23, 2350 meters here. That is a killer avalanche right there. That's a good way to die. That's not a very easy survival. Thing. Just moving over to the right, just checking out this beast. Look at how deep it is. These are not small chunks of snow. I don't know if you can tell on the GoPro, but there's actually quite a large crown just, just following there. I think that's still part of the crown almost. Well, I guess not crown. One of the bigger, bigger avies I've ever set off, especially on a slope that I was at least considering skiing. This is a big heads up. I've been playing it really safe. My first day sledding in over a month, and I've got reasons to go to Mexico. Mexico. All right, we're just uh, we dropped into the crown of safe spot. Just getting some footage of this thing. This ugly, ugly, ugly monster that just ruined my whole spring. Jared's there. He's trying to find. You can see. Hold it up in the light. There's some manga, like, full centimeter, centimeter and a half facets right there. Big feathers, big cones. We think a lot of them went down on the slide. But I can see some right here. Lots of rounds, but some facets. Stand up next to that thing. Look at that. How tall are you? 5'8". 5'8". There's 5'8". This is like a, this is like a step here with a real... This is about as far as I care to venture out here. You can see this little sucker. Oh, such extremely bad news. I wanted to get below it. You can see this. This is the ice layer, the sliding interface. Some shot of it right there. Yeah, lots of facets right there. And look at the snow from this angle too. You can see all these. Yeah. All these cores. Yeah, there's a. That's a two centimeter one right there, almost. Oh yeah. If you look close, eh? Yeah. Alright, we're getting a bit more light here and we're looking down at the path. And we're pretty sure this thing just ran full path. All the way down. We actually sledded right through that path. We're gonna go down there and make sure we don't see more tracks in there because we really hope that we didn't we didn't get knocked off on somebody. But we think that we see some trees knocked over in the other side coming up the valley. This is a 
hair trigger class three that's running 150, 200 meters wide. Dang it. Such bad news. Sure. Tell me what happened. into this area. And now there's trees with their top snapped off from like a Holy I can't even cow. imagine how much snow that is right there. That's usually a big a big depression like that. Look at it over there, trees everywhere. Let's go up and look at right it. Right to ground the whole way. Unbelievable. Alright, here we are right in the gut of it. This thing ran absolutely full path. Look at this, there's like a... Just in case, we really hope nobody was down here. This thing ran all the way across. Big way. This whole tree bench, these are probably... These gotta be 20 year old trees. <laughs> 